Firefighters saved these pups from a storm sewer. Then they suddenly realized they weren't dogs. After Colorado firefighters spent 20 minutes pulling eight tiny beings from a storm sewer, they believed they'd save a litter of Labradors. However, little did they know that the animals they'd rescued were not your average pets. Instead, they were something much more unusual. As part of its work, the Colorado Springs Fire Department tries to keep people in its community safe from harm. In addition to fighting fires, the department also prevents blazes by fitting smoke alarms in people's houses. But while tending to these tasks is pretty much standard for firefighters, sometimes crews have to deal with more unexpected duties. And these include rescuing various animals. A quick scroll through the department's Facebook page shows that the organization has saved all manner of creatures from various scrapes. For instance, in 2016, one squad saved a dog, a turtle, two cats, and seven goldfish from an apartment fire. Meanwhile, in December of 2017, the department assisted in the dramatic rescue of an injured dog from a manhole. And in March of 2018, one of the department's crews attended to a similar incident. It was then that they became aware of eight tiny animals in need of assistance. So, firefighters rushed to help them. As far as the squad knew, a litter of puppies had fallen down a storm drain. Their mom was nowhere to be seen, and with no way of pulling themselves out of the hole, it seemed that the animals would likely perish without intervention. Thankfully, though, Colorado Springs firefighters were on their way. In video footage of their rescue effort, one crew member bends down on his knees and carefully lifts each puppy out. One by one, he lays them on a white cloth before going back for the next. As the firefighters place one pup down, his colleague inquires, How many is that? Nine? The man on his knees proceeds to count the balls of black fur before confirming that there are, in fact, eight in total. Eight tiny animals that it seemed might have perished if it had not been for the department's good work. Once the firefighters had retrieved all the animals, they concluded that they were Labrador puppies, or something similar. Given the creature's situation, officers were concerned that they might have been the victims of some kind of pet dumping. After the 20-minute rescue was complete, the firefighters had completed their task, as a result, they handed the puppies over to the Humane Society of the Pikes Peak region. And it was then that the crew received a major surprise. Vets revealed that the animals the department had retrieved, in fact, weren't dogs at all. They took them to the shelter, and actually one of the vets in that location said, No, these aren't Labradors, they're foxes. Fire Captain Brian Vaughn told Inside Edition in March of 2018. Needless to say, the revelation came as quite a shock to those who'd been involved in the rescue. However, the firefighters were presumably happy that the incident wasn't the result of any animal cruelty. However, it seemed that the Red Fox kits had simply become separated from their mother. Colorado Springs is located at the feet of the Rocky Mountains. The landscape provides an ideal habitat for foxes. As such, the animals are not an unusual sight in the area. Nonetheless, it is far from common for firefighters to come across fox babies in need of rescue. Travis Souter, a manager from Colorado Parks and Wildlife District Wildlife, spoke to CBS4 about the incident in March of 2018. This time of year, there are a lot of animals that are starting to have their young, he explained. Souter suggested that the kits might have been born in the manhole that they were rescued from. Mothers have their young in small dens that are places we can encounter when we're recreating in the outdoors, like we like to do, he revealed. Following their rescue, the Humane Society of Pikes Peak Region decided not to keep the kits. Instead, they'd return them to the place where they'd been found. That way, the animals would have the best possible chance of finding their mother again. When kits are born, they can't see, hear, or walk. As a result, they stay in the den, where they feed off their mother's milk. Once they're strong enough, the animals start to venture out. However, the kits don't leave their parents until they're around seven months of age. These animals are going to be put back where we found them, hoping that the mother is still in the area and can pick up the normal duties like she would, Souter explained. If the mom's not around anymore, we can take them to a licensed rehab. Unfortunately, it appears that any attempts to reunite the babies with their mom were unsuccessful. In the weeks following the kit's rescue, it was revealed that five of them were being rehabilitated at the animal clinic of Woodland Park. There, the foxes will undergo rehabilitation under the watchful eye of the clinic's vets. 
Following their recovery, the facility's co-owner, Terry Collins, is confident that the animals will return to the wild. We hope to be able to release all of them, she revealed on Facebook in March of 2018.